Let me talk to you today for just a moment about family, about raising kids. In our text today from Genesis chapter 37, and really over into part of chapter 38, we find the big conflict between the sons of Jacob. We find Joseph being sold into slavery. And when we look at that, we often focus on, well, this was God's will in order to provide a future for the people of Israel, but we forget that it didn't have to happen in the way it happened. Yes, God took what was evil and turned it around for good, but it didn't have to happen the way it happened. And it didn't all start with the brothers, and it didn't all start with Joseph. It all started with Jacob. Just as in his family, he had been raised with a pattern, a pattern where the father had his favorite and the mother had his favorite, that pattern of family came down into the next generation. Not a generational curse, but family patterns that need to be broken by the renewing of the mind. Jacob also chose a favorite. It said that Israel, which is Jacob, loved Joseph more than any of the other brothers because he had been born to him in his old age and he made him a richly ornamented robe. Now, two mistakes are made there. He loved one child more than the other kids and number two, he did things for one child that he didn't do for the other kids. Now, when you begin to do things like that, you have to understand you create a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy, a lot of strife, a lot of hostility in between the kids. Now, we can understand Jacob's motivation. In his old age, there's a young boy. And, and, you know, when you get older, you enjoy being around youth. You enjoy the vitality and the life and the laughter. It brings great pleasure to you as you get older. So we can understand this a little bit, but it doesn't make it right. Now, look at what began to happen. Because he had Joseph as his favorite, Joseph played tattletale on the older brothers in chapter 37, verses 1 to 3. Then it, we see that the brothers hated him in verse 4 and would not even speak a kind word to him, and then later sold him into slavery. Now, brothers and sisters, I don't believe that the other sons of Jacob were bad people, but there was just a lot of strife and animosity between the children, and it all goes back to father choosing favorites and father doing for one what he didn't do for the other. If we want to have peace among our kids, if, if we want the generation to be at peace after we go to heaven and we want our, our kids to be family, sometimes when I talk to people about family they interpret it strictly as the children relating to the parents, but for a family to be at peace the children have to relate well to the parents and they have to relate well to each other. Now parents, if we want our kids to relate well for each other, we love each of them equally, and we treat each of them equally. We don't do for one what we won't do for the others. Consistency is a law of parenting. We love each child the same. We do the same things for each child. We don't prefer the boy over the girl, or the girl over the boy, or the younger over the older, or whatever. And we make sure that the kids know that we love each of them equally, and we treat each of them the same. If we don't do that, then forgive me. Your kids may not do it in front of you, but when they're away from you, they'll torment each other. And as parents, I'm sorry, it's our fault. Let's love them the same, treat them the same in Jesus' name.